Morning. Well, it soon won't be. Uh, I'm going to do a sort of a poppy impression of the fields for a, a niece. Uh, I don't want to labour it. I want to do an abstract painting, but with all the elements in, with the sky, the trees, the fields. So uh, I'll wet, I'll spray the paper first. Give it, so this is helps to lubricate the paint. So I put a bit of sky in, so a little bit of ultramarine. Horizon round about, about there. This is on a an earlier demonstration. Bit of ochre. Bit of colour. Mm. I'll put some uh, some very light clouds in, just a bit of red and a bit of blue. Oops. This is on Fabriano, two hundred, uh, one hundred and thirty pound. Darker than that. Just using a bit of blue and a bit of red for my shadow on the clouds. So this makes it very easy to, to add colour and get the ball covered when you wet it first. Well, we'll let that dry off a little bit and go on to the uh, bit of a tree background. You're just going to use this sort of simple colour scheme. It's a little bit darker. Okay, now we'll put in some some distant distant landscape. Very faint, sort of a greeny, oh, I'm putting yellow out. A little bit of yellow. This is only just the initial wash and we're warming up as we come into the foreground. Bit of, uh, bit of ochre, let's just give it another wet. Bit of burnt umber I think. In with that, plenty of white. I'll warm up the uh, foreground a bit. I'll put a bit, a few bushes and stuff in there. So a little bit of ready oakery. Coming forward into the foreground. Right, to give the brush a clean and go back with the uh, background distant. That might not be dark enough there, but... Right, 
Just using bits of cadmium red, yellow ochre, ultramarine really, that's just about the strength of it. Let's put in some really light clouds now, but not completely white. We don't want white clouds, we want off-white. Okay, now some uh, hints of hints of blue in there. I don't want too much of the ground colour showing through. Okay, well that's that's sort of a, a nice sky, a nice gentle summery sky, poppy sky. Let's uh, I'll use a smaller brush. I think I'm going to put in some some black and some green, some yellow. There's a little bit of orange. Uh, let's uh, just. Dark. I'm going to use a bit of orange. I like orange. I've never used to use it. I used to mix it from yellow and red, but it's a lovely shortcut. I'll put a bit of black in, in my palette. Keep some air in. in the trees, sort of a warm. Okay, that'll do it for that. We can take that all the way over there. As it disappears into the, the blue, blue yonder. Okay, that's all right. Uh, so I want to do this, do something with that field. I want to make it brighter. So I'm just going to reclip the paper. Go back over that background now and strengthen up that little bit of blue. It's not uh, really the right sort of colour. Maybe if I mix a bit of blue, white, and a bit of black, that might give a more distant sort of colour. But be careful with black because it gets in everything. Right, 
I guess well, I want to get a field in there, like a distant field. Sorry if I'm masking what I'm doing here. This is even lighter than that. Oh, that'll do. Right, go back to that's just about dry now. So let's give it some nice bright corn colour. And then warm it up. Great thing to use is a, a spray. It does make you know, this sort of thing much easier. <coughs> you probably need to get some more variety in those distant trees. Not so happy with the shapes really, but Funny for the brushes, it's just worn out really. We we'll need some some detail in in this. So let's put in on that foreground. We'll put in some bushes. So it's a sort of a warmer, much warmer sort of bush colour. There's a little bit of black with it as well. That is. Right, let's use, use a rigger now. Uh, if I can find one. They're about. Uh, oh, I've got one here.
don't like that bit there. Just using some red and ochre on this. It's all bit up. Now we're going to put in some poppies. Uh, now I'll use this this old worn out squirrel brush. So red, and I'll miss a bit of orange with it because I. Well, no, there is. might have to change this to a bit more green but otherwise they don't really show up so so well if you want bright uh, red to look redder brighter put it next to green Trying to make it look random, it's quite quite tricky really. Let's uh, put in some other little bits of flowers, yellow, white. Just reduce that intensity of some of these. A bit too obvious. Well, let's just take out some of that. Not poppies in the corn, really. Don't want that black on the brush. I could put some little houses in there, just a white farmhouse, just to have a point of interest. I could do that with a my half inch brush here. Or can I? Bear with me. 
if I can find a, a little square ended flat. Uh, no, never mind. So let's uh, just put in just a A bit of uh, burnt sienna there. Well, I don't know what that looks like. I'll put a bit of green in that foreground, I think. It's uh, sort of crying out for it, really. But dark green, I don't know anything light. Just one to, as a foil for those red poppies, or impressions of red poppies, anyway. Let's uh, put it in a in a mount. It's uh, it's okay. I'm not I'm not pleased with it. It's really just an impression, or we'll call it an abstract of a, of a poppy field, or at least a cornfield with poppies. Let's put a blue mount on it. Mm -hmm. to brighten up those poppies a little bit. Uh, right, uh, bright poppies. The poppies you can always put like uh, the stamen in a bit of bit of a lizard, which is a bit darker. But I uh, want I think a bit of yellow mixed in with the red. Brighten up. I don't think that's those little white bits there are any good. I think we'll uh, take those out. Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, a look full on. So it's a sort of poppy field, Suffolk, Kent, Kent poppy field. So I'll put a couple of farm buildings in there. Not very good, but but there's the corner of the field coming down to the foreground with a rough fence and just a bit to anchor, just to, to block keep you in the picture rather than let you fall off the bottom. So that's the background. Okay, so let's just, oops, let's just come out of that. Um, 
I won't put a church in, it's a bit, bit, bit. Now, but anyway, that's, that's it. I hope you like that. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.